Hey everybody, as promised today we are talking about our chicken feeding system. Hey folks, Aaron here with the Kunkel Homestead. On our final chapter on our coop and run construction and setup video, um, this is video number four and we are going to be talking about our gravity chicken feeders and I actually have these right behind me. So these feeders, super easy to build and I can't take credit for thinking this up. I got the idea online. I'll put a link to the website in the description so you can check that out. Their instructions were really good and better than I could do. But essentially it's a piece of three inch PVC pipe and you cut that as high as you want the feeder to be tall. Ours are about five and a half foot. You'll need two, and this is per feeder, you'll need two 45 degree elbows. And what that does is that gives you a port on the top to fill the feeder and a port on the bottom for the birds to eat out of. Of course, you'll need a cap for the filling port, a cap for the top, and we actually do have caps for the feeding holes as well, just in case we have some really bad storms, we can close that up and not have the food get all wet. But I'm standing outside of our run right now, and I've got the filling ports on the outside. The feeding ports are actually on the inside, pointed in the other direction, so they are underneath the roof, so they don't get a whole lot of rain. And we did that very intentionally. You can put the feeding and the filling ports on the same side, but this way we can actually fill these up from the outside of the chicken run. We don't even have to go in if we don't want to. And that's just convenient. We really like the convenience. We've set up this entire chicken coop and chicken run with the idea of it being easy to manage. So one other feature that we did to make this a little easier to manage is I put a small hole in the top of the cap on each of these. And I ran a bit of weed eater string coming out of it and on this side I just have a, a washer tied to it on the inside I have a small jar with some rocks in it just to act as a weight essentially so what this does is the weight will sit on top of the food that's inside of the feeder so when the food level is high that weight will be up high and the string will hang farther down on the outside of the run and as that food level lowers the weight will drop into the pipe and our washer will rise. So this tells me that this pipe is actually pretty close to empty with as high up as the washer is. It kind of gives you a, a gauge so you don't have to open it up and try to knock on it and figure out how full it is or not. You've got a visual and we find that extremely easy to work with. So to fill these up, all we have to do is remove the cap and we do have some short pieces of PVC here to act as a join between these. We just remove this and pour in the food. So now you can see I'm inside the chicken run and you can see how this works from the perspective of the birds. We do have a cap on the bottom of course and then there's the spot that we can cap on the inside and we do have another piece of that joinery just sticking out. It makes it a little bit longer, makes it a little more farther of a reach for them to get their heads in there. It helps keep them from scooping out too much food with their faces. We also did put a mason jar lid on the inside so that the food doesn't settle all the way to the bottom of this because that would just lead to a lot of wasted food. As far as the food itself is concerned, we use a mixture of scratch grains, feeder pellets, and on occasion some grit. And we do adjust the, the diet, you know, depending on the time of the year. In the winter, we tend to give them a little bit more corn so they have the, the energy to, you know, keep themselves warm. And in the uh, winter and in Sometimes through the summer too, we like to give them a bit of extra sunflower seeds, which they just really enjoy for the extra protein. Um, but yeah, the one downside is you do get some of that dust on the inside of these, and occasionally you do get a bit of mildew. But the good thing about this is this detaches fairly easily. We can just take it down, blast it out with the hose, uh, water hose or air hose, either one will work. Just knock all the crud out of it, put it back up, and it's good as new. Okay, so this feeding video didn't take nearly as long as I expected it to, so I figured I'm gonna throw in a bonus and talk about some of the entertainment options that we set up inside of our run. Yes, we set up entertainment. So first thing, we have a chicken swing. This is just a couple pieces of twine and some scrap wood, drilled a couple holes, actually just ran the twine through and back up and tied it to one of our cross beams over the top of the run, very easy to do. 
Also took some scrap wood and built a ladder for the chickens. I haven't really seen them get up on the very top of it, but they do get around waist height on this on occasion. There's also two roosts in the corners and those are just propped up so that we can remove them easily. And they don't knock them down nearly as much as I thought that they would. So they do like to hang out on all these. Two more things to still show you though. So for the last two items of entertainment that we have, number one is we have a cabbage here hanging off of a, a chain. This is actually a little kit we bought off of Amazon. It's got a me metal rod with an eye hook and a little chain. And we've actually hung this off of some twine as well. We actually have it hanging off the bottom of the chicken swing, but you could run it all the way up to the ceiling if you needed to. This essentially gives them something to peck at. Um, they actually aren't very interested in this cabbage for some reason. Uh, we may try it with some apples or you know some other fruit, something a little more fragrant, something a little softer. Hopefully that'll get their attention a little bit more. And the last item that we had, and I haven't seen them use this once, but it amuses me anyway. So we put a, a xylophone up on the side of the run here. So maybe they'll peck at that one day and play us a song. But that is it, everybody. That concludes our four part series on our chicken coop chicken run, watering system, feeding system, and entertainment. If you found this content useful, please do give us a like, maybe even a subscribe. We would really appreciate it. And stay tuned for more great content from the Kunkel Homestead. You see we have a Cabbage!